So a couple of years ago, we learned about something called family groups. It's a group that becomes a family. We get to split all of our kids up and we have kindergarten through fourth graders come to our classrooms. All of the kids, they know one another, they start waving to one another in the hallways and they get to do things together. So that's kind of what it is. It's building that community, building relationships among the kids and the staff and everybody so that they feel always connected to someone. The, the kids just absolutely love family groups, so they'll, they'll ask me, Mrs. Horner, are we gonna have family groups soon? Um, so they're really excited about going to family groups because we usually always try and make sure that we're hitting the dispositions, um, but we always try and make sure that it's like an engaging, hands-on activity that goes along with that disposition. So our dispositions are skills that we want our kiddos to learn and to really start understanding them a little bit better. It's great that you say resilience and grit, but a little kiddo is gonna look at you and go, what are you talking about? So through different books and activities, they get to understand that and how they can show it, not just in the classroom, but at home and in the community. And so it really starts to build their understandings about how to be, just basically be a good human and have some of those skills that help them in life for the rest of their lives. All right, have a good afternoon. I will see you guys. We recently did, we just did um, growth mindset and we had our paper chain activity. And I think that that was a big one, but the kids loved it. So they had to make paper chains and so we broke them up into groups. Um, and they built this paper chain and they only had a set amount of time, I think like five minutes, to build the longest paper chain you could out of this paper. And so, you know, they, they were, you know, very big paper chains. And so I said, okay, so what went well? What didn't work well? How can we improve on this? And so having that growth mindset saying, I can do better. You'll see this taller fourth grader walking down the hall with a kindergartner or a first grader and they'll look at each other and they'll be like, you're in my family group. So we've made these connections with our older kids and our younger kids. So that family group stays connected while they're here. I go down and I go to the room that they're in and then I pick them up and it's like, and then I just ask them like how their day is going while we're walking down to like family group and stuff. I started making friends at family groups. So um, it was funner going. So I'm like, I wanna join in now. When I was a little younger, we, um, did self-awareness and we painted rocks and like each family group painted like each kid painted a rock and then we put them out front of the school and they're still there and we could like paint them our own color and we could do like designs and stuff on them so I painted a rock and it's still out front since I was like the, I forget what grade I did it in but since I did that grade it's still been outside. Well my family group teacher is Miss Selzer She's nice. She she asked us what what we did over the weekend and like what's happening right now. And I just always say, it's okay. The week's going good. From my experience, it it's invaluable. Like you can't put a price on it because it is just helped us grow so much. And certainly hope that we're making that positive impact for them and that they can take everything that we're teaching them and apply it um, outside of school, not just in school. You go into education to be a teacher and you, you want to make the connections. You want to build those relationships. You want to help kids. And this makes you feel like you can. 